probably a large majority of this stuff just went into the wind. It is another gorgeous day here in Cambodia. It's super, super sunny. Honestly, I haven't had a single day where it's really been like bad weather. Like March is an amazing month to come visit Cambodia. I'm in Phnom Penh, which is the capital of Cambodia. And it's a pretty cool city. Reminds me a lot of Bangkok. I think I'm just gonna rent a bike today and just like tour around. It's probably the best way to go see the city. That's today's whip. It's no Bugatti, but it will do. Got my bicycle. Honestly, I don't know the last time that I drove a bicycle. I, <laughs> I almost fell over when I first got on it. It's kind of embarrassing. So it's $3 to rent one of these things and then they keep your passport. And then somehow, if you break it, it costs $65 to replace one. When this bike was probably made in like the 80s, it's not worth $65, but whatever. bicycle is actually pretty awesome I love like a form of transportation that's faster than walking and tuk-tuks are just a total pain in the ass so this is actually pretty sweet I wanted to take a penny board with me on this trip but literally like none of the places that I ever visit have sidewalks so having a penny board would be like less than useless and then I would have to keep it in my luggage all the time so having a bicycle yeah it's, it's fun it's good to have so here's my handy dandy map of Phnom Penh. That's my hostel. That's where I got my bike. This is the Royal Palace. We're gonna go check that out. And we are currently at the Independence Monument. That's what that is. Pretty cool. Independence. Yeah! Okay, who wants to scare the shit out of a ton of pigeons? This guy. I know you guys do too. Let's go scare some pigeons. There they are. You gotta be very sneaky. If you want something super fun and free to do in Phnom Penh, come over to the Independence Monument and scare some pigeons. It's a blast. Okay, next up, Grand Palace. Uh, these brakes. This is what happens when you try to set up your camera while on a bike to get a cool shot. Yeah. the road. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, success. Grand Palace. Dope build. Just had a chat with a tuk-tuk bro. The uh, the temple's closed today, but I'll show you the outside a little bit, unfortunately. Maybe I'll go see it another day.
Hey, Mr. Cat. You found my bike. Are you gonna try to steal it? No. No. Probably the coolest Buddha I have seen so far. Check out his belly button. It's like hollow. I approve. And yeah, that's about all I can capture from the outside of the Grand Palace. All done with this. I don't know where to go to next. I wish this was like a live feed and you guys could be like, do this. That'd be a lot easier for me to basically make all the decisions in my life. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of get lost on my bicycle. So I'd have to say the single best thing in the world about renting a bicycle, no tuk-tuk drivers ask you if you want a tuk-tuk. It's literally just worth three dollars just for that. Even if you don't ride a bike and you just walk it, it would be worth paying three dollars to walk your bike so you don't get asked by every single person on the road. says heroic king of independence. So I'm assuming that guy helped with the whole independence thing. Also, that girl is wearing a full-fledged like puffy jacket, pants, a hat, and like a face mask. And it is probably like close to 35 degrees out right now. How? I would ride my bike down these stairs, but this is what I would look like. If you're a regular watcher of the pop-off vlogs, like my mom and my dad, you'll notice yesterday I didn't post a vlog. And my slogan is new video every day, it's not new vlog every day. So instead I posted this little tiny two and a half minute video called Time is Running Out. Here's the link to it right there, check it out if you haven't already. And basically this was me experimenting with something different. I don't have millions of subscribers, so I have the opportunity to take the day off from vlogging and try something different. And that little two and a half minute film actually has literally like 40 to 50 hours of work put into it. There's so many little cuts and short scenes that, and just building the story and stuff around it. So what I encourage all of you to do, if you are starting a business or you're starting some type of project and you're really trying to grow it, to experiment. Right now, you are just this tiny little ant in this massive ant hill. And you have the time to really experiment and try different things. And so that's what I did. I went out there, I tried something different. Let me know if you like it or not, or if you want me to create more little movies like that. I really think they're actually a lot cooler than vlogs. Vlogs are awesome, but there's not really a whole lot of thought put into them. It's kind of just like, okay, what am I doing today type of thing. Whereas there's actually like thought and planning put into those. So eventually I want to create more of those little inspirational or motivational mini movies for you all. But yes, please, I encourage you all, if you are starting a business, go out there and try as many possible things as you can. So there are a ton of these big boats that go down this river and they look like they're about to sink. They're literally like probably like four feet off the water and they don't ever have anything on them. It's really weird. I like, it looks like they're for towing stuff, but nothing's ever on any of them.
figured out I got a bell. I'm gonna use this like crazy. I am a bicycle. Don't hit me. Got a bell. I got a bell. So if you don't know this, in Cambodia, prostitution is like a really, really, really big thing here. It's not as bad as Thailand, but it's still a huge problem. And there was like a street that I walked down the other day where it was just like crazy. It was like prostitute build. And so this place right here is called Daughters of Cambodia. And it's a place that helps get girls off the street, provide some jobs, and it's a cafe as well. So I'm gonna go eat there and support it because I heard it's really, really good food and it's affordable and it supports a really awesome cause. Check out this meal. We got chicken fingers. We got these nice big fries. We got the salad. I don't know what this is, but it's some type of sauce. And then we got this like honey mustard sauce. It's like I died and went to heaven. Finished my lunch at Daughter's Cafe. It was amazing. A little more pricey than I would normally pay, but like the cause is just incredible. I think I paid seven US dollars for that meal, which is I would be paying like $15 at least for that in Canada. But anyway, I learned a lot about human sex trafficking here in Cambodia. And before, I was like an extremely ignorant person and I would say, oh, like why are there all these prostitutes? Why don't they just get real jobs like everyone else? And now I've learned that one in 40 Cambodian women are actually sold to brothels. And either their parents sell them um, for money or there's like stories all over the walls here and basically what they do is they tell them oh we're gonna get you a job here so one of these girls they thought she thought she was getting a job uh, at a bakery and so they um, they take her and they bring her to what she thought was a bakery and it ends up being a brothel and then they tie her up for four days and they starve her and beat her um, until she basically gives in to human sex trafficking and then there's basically no way out after that. Like once you're in, they own you. Um, so basically what Daughters does is they have five businesses and they provide them with jobs so that they can basically pay their way out of it and have normal lives again. I don't know if you can actually have a normal life after going through what these women went through, but um, they really do help uh, like crazy. So if you ever in uh, Phnom Penh, Please come check out Daughters Cafe. Um, support an awesome cause because uh, they're really, really doing great things here in Cambodia. Sketchy. Sketchy everywhere. I'm trying to navigate, film, and ride a bike at the same time. I don't want to die. This is this is not the best idea I've ever came up with. So that was an experience. Phnom Penh, five o'clock rush hour traffic. Google Maps decides to take me on a one-way street, and not like the good one-way streets where you're flying with the traffic. The one-way streets where you're going against the traffic and it's illegal. So uh, naturally I just followed Google Maps and I ended up just parking my bike a couple blocks down because I was about to die there. I don't know if because cats love me so much I've inherited their nine lives, but I definitely used up a couple trying to get to this camera store. I found it. Yeah. Now all I have to do is just walk through this. That should be pretty easy. This guy knows how to do it. Yeah. Okay, don't get hit by the truck. Good, good. They're stopped. Okay. Oh, oh. Weave, weave. Success. 
that, that feels good not dying. What the hell is this? Oh my god, it actually flips up too? What? Well that store was cool but very useless. And the people don't really speak English so they can't help you at all. So they just follow you around the store and it's super awkward. I'm gonna go check out Sony. Just walked out of the Sony store. Lo and behold, it's even worse than the Canon store. They have no models of the actual camera that everyone wants, the a7s and the a7s II, which would be the only reason I would switch from Canon to Sony. But I'm not gonna do that ever. I love Canon. Now all I need to do is find my bicycle in this. Should be easy. I love how tuk-tuk drivers still continue to ask you if you want a tuk-tuk, even though I can walk faster than a tuk-tuk in this traffic currently. These guys are just, they don't quit here. Found my bike. It was insane, but I found it. Guess what guys, I found a flash mob. I think it's just Zumba. That'd be really cool if it was flash mob. Currently returning the bike. The bike inspection is more thorough than any like car rental inspection I've had. All good? Yes. Okay, cool. Can I go? Yeah. Yeah? Please. I've worked hard all day. I'm sweating like crazy. I burnt way too many calories. I'm gonna go grab some ice cream because I deserve it. I love each and every single one of you guys. Stay focused, my friends. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to receive a brand new video every single day.